Just a few months ago, the media was covered with article titles that seems to indicate that the Korean battle was dominating the world. Due to the explosive increase in electric vehicles, the demand for batteries required for them has surged. Global demand for lithium-ion batteries exceeded the supply. There are many reports of large-scale orders and plans to significantly increase production. And in October, just a few months later, many of you have probably noticed that the mood is changing rapidly. There is also an expression that the crisis of K battery or reef has been met, and at the center of it, it is the key word LFP battery. Today, we are going to talk about what it is and how serious it is. Now, let's start the tech trip. To help you understand, let's take a brief look at the structure of the lithium-ion battery. Here is one battery cell. If we remove the metal case, you can see that the inside consists of a roll with several layers of film rolled up and the liquid called electrolyte. The roll type film consists of an aluminum foil coated with cathode material, a copper foil coated with an anode material, and the porous separator that prevents the anode and cathode from contacting each other while allowing lithium ions to pass freely. In a fully discharged battery, lithium ions are filled in the cathode material and lithium ions in this state are in a very stable state that is in a low energy state. When the battery is charged, the lithium ions in the cathode material move to the anode material made of graphite and the lithium ions in the anode material have properties very similar to lithium metal, which is more reactive than lithium ions. Therefore, lithium in the anode material is a very unstable state that is in a high energy state. Now let's get to the point. The Chinese LF battery mentioned earlier is a battery that uses lithium, iron, and phosphorus as cathode material. The cathode and separator are almost the same, but the composition of the cathode material is different. Recently, it is a method that differentiates the shape of the battery cell and the method of making a large capacity pack by collecting the cell. The biggest advantage is the fact that it has superior stability compared to cathode materials made of NCM or NCA, which were used by Korean and Japanese companies to manufacture batteries. Unlike conventional NCM or NCA cathode materials, when using LFP cathode material and piercing a battery made in a thin and long shape like a long blade with a nail, it does not explode and the temperature rise is insignificant. What does a cathode material that stores low energy lithium have to do with stability to give this result? The reason lies in the composition. The composition of NCM and NCA series cathode materials is mainly composed of metal oxide. In other words, it is a substance in the form of a combination of metal and oxygen. On the other hand, LFP is a chemical compound containing an oxygen atom as a part of a phosphate molecule instead of a chemical combination of oxygen and iron. The difference between these two types becomes more pronounced when the temperature is raised. When the battery is heated to a high temperature in a charged NCM or NCA-based material, it begins to decompose at around 200 degrees Celsius and generate oxygen. On the other hand, the cathode material composed of LFP produces very little gas. This is the biggest factor in the stability of LFP cathode material. Some substances need oxygen to ignite. Here is hydrogen gas in the flask. When the temperature is raised by heating from the outside, the hydrogen molecules move faster, but nothing happens. On the other hand, when hydrogen gas and oxygen gas exist together, when the flask is heated to high temperature, the hydrogen reacts with oxygen to make water, and the explosion occurs due to the heat of reaction. 
As such, oxygen is responsible for many ignition and explosion. For a similar reason, the charged cathode material exposed to high temperatures plays a role in providing oxygen, thus playing the role of battery explosion. Since the electrolyte made of organic solvent, the separator made of carbon and hydrogen, and the anode material, which is a lump of carbon, coexist inside battery. Once ignition starts, the temperature rises and the temperature of the surrounding battery cells rises, causing a chain reaction. On the other hand, in the case of LFP cathode materials, the amount of oxygen generated is extremely low, even at high temperatures, making it difficult to satisfy the conditions for ignition. This is the primary cause related to the stability of batteries using LFP. However, LF cathode materials have a relatively low capacity. The reason is that when LFP is used as a cathode material, the operating voltage is lower than that of NCM or NCA, and also because the cathode composed of LFP cathode material contains relatively small amount of lithium ions. Therefore, when manufacturing a battery cell of the same weight or the same volume, the battery using LF cathode material has about 30% lower capacity than the cathode material using NCM. For that reason, most battery manufacturers have been using NCM instead of LFP. But recently, Chinese companies have found a clue to the solution. Existing battery is a method that collects 100 to 1,000 cells to make a module and that makes a pack by tying two to four modules again. These structures are designed to protect the cell from external impact by packaging the cell in two stages and to prevent the ignition of one cell from spreading to all other cells and it is a method used in all electric vehicles today. The disadvantage of this method is that many connection parts are required and the space occupied by modules, structures, and cables to protect the cell is very high. So the volume and weight of the peg is much higher than the volume and weight of only the battery cells, in some cases will more than double. However, the method adopted by Chinese companies to make the battery cell long and thin while making the external material with excellent rigidity and inserting the cell directly into the peg without making a separate module. By making the cell itself resistant to external shocks, the volume and weight of the peg and the necessary part to make the same capacity have been greatly reduced. The existing method uses the method of collecting several battery cells to make a module and collecting the module again to make a pack, whereas the Chinese method uses so-called the cell to pack method, which removes the module and puts the cell directly into the pack. The result is groundbreaking. Unlike NCM, by using iron, the material cost of the cathode material could be lowered and the structurally safe large capacity cell with a module was directly combined with a pair, thereby significantly reducing space efficiency and cost of a part, thereby reducing the overall price. It has been reduced by up to 30% compared to the better pack using the existing NCM. So how will the battle between the two camps proceed? According to the media, Panasonic of Japan, which uses NCA, is not really interested in LFP batteries. And LG, SK, Samsung announced that they will proceed with the development of batteries with also LFP or other types of cobalt-free cathode materials along with NCM cathode materials. If we were to buy an electric car, what would you choose? That's it for today. Goodbye.